Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Business and Financial News. Let's begin with Borsa Kuwait showing a mix of declines and gains alongside key indices fluctuating with equipment dominating trading volumes and EVA leading in liquidity. Abdurrahman al Mahanna reports. Borsa Kuwait saw a slight decline in the main indices. The premium market index fell by 0.06% and the all share index showed stable performance. Meanwhile, both the BK Main 50 and Main Indices rose by 0.08%. At this time, the Borsa Kuwait recorded a trading volume of 4.87 million Kuwaiti dinars, with 31.92 million shares traded across 1,720 transactions. Five sectors showed gains, with consumer goods leading at 1.51%. On the other hand, six sectors experienced losses, with utilities declining by 0.65% while two sectors remain stable. In terms of individual stocks, 47 stocks saw increases with equipment rising the most at 11.33%. Conversely, 24 stocks dropped with Tanzif falling by 4.92%, while 18 stocks remained unchanged. Finally, equipment led trading activity with 6.64 million shares traded while EVA topped the trading liquidity charts with a value of 1.57 million Kuwaiti dinars. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning Borsa Kuwait opened with a green board as all main indices showed some gains. We have the premium market index and the main market index started higher, reflecting positive market sentiment. And we have the telecom sector leading the gains. Meanwhile, investors are keeping an eye out and being cautious as they wait upcoming key earnings report from key companies, especially in the banking sector. Investors are also waiting and keeping an eye out on international developments, any upcoming international developments that could affect the performance of Borsa Kuwait, such as the Jackson Hall meeting, which include politicians, policymakers, economists, and also the U.S. Federal Reserve, uh, Jerome Powell, and governors of major banks that could discuss the interest rate of the United States and also the monetary policy that could affect the United States and the whole world. This is Abdurrahman Al-Mahanna coming to you from Borsa Kuwait reporting for the News Department. With more information joining us now via telephone call is our very own Kuwait News correspondent, Abdurrahman Al-Mahanna, to tell us about the closing session. Thank you for joining us, Abdurrahman. Can you please elaborate on the closing session of Borsa Kuwait? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm reporting to you from Borsa Kuwait uh, currently. The market has just uh, closed and it's been a day of uh, mixed performance across the board after just after the opening uh, we have the all share index uh, which uh, marked uh, a modest gain uh, closing uh, higher 0.14% and this was largely uh, driven by uh, uh, several uh, strong performances rather in the banking sector with with major players like national bank of kuwait which which also climbed by 0.62% and also we have the kuwait finance house which which as well increased by by 0.52 percent. These gains helped to bolster the premium market index as well, which closed at 7,983 points, uh, higher by 0.42 percent. However, with these gains, on one hand, on the other hand, we have it wasn't all positive news. Anyways, the main in market index faced some challenges. It dropped by 0.88 percent. This decline was mainly due to losses in the real estate sector where companies like National Investment uh, Company saw a significant drop uh, of 3.85%. Uh, finally, in today's uh, key development, uh, Borsa Kuwait has uh, signed a market maker agreement with National Investment Company, which is considered to be a, a strategic move aimed at en enhancing market uh, liquidity. And this comes as exchange continues its focus on sustainability and governance and having recently received uh, multiple international awards for its efforts. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, as we move forward, all eyes will be on upcoming, any upcoming financial results from major companies which are expected to provide further direction for the market, whether it be it locally or internationally from the Jackson Hall meeting, which could discuss whether or not to keep interest rates at five and a quarter and five and a half, which may take the decision. The decision will be taken anyways in September 18th of September, led by the U.S. Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell. Back to you. Thank you, Abdurrahman.